So the car you see behind is called EXB2. It's the oldest surviving Bentley, uh, built in 1919, uh, rebodied in 1921. Uh, very special car for us, clearly is the oldest surviving Bentley. And uh, true to our, um, uh, our DNA, uh, has a lot of innovation in the car. Uh, despite being built in 1919, it had uh, four valves per cylinder, it had twin spark plugs, uh, made great use of aluminium, uh, twin magnetos, so it was innovative even in, in the days of 1919. It's on its third engine, um, it was first uh, with a, a three liter, it was then replaced with a, a three liter TT engine, and then with a production engine number 144 in 1921, which is very normal in the day to have a number of engines and bodies. Uh, this car was the first ever Bentley to win a race, and by the end of its career, it had 11 first places and seven second places, so a phenomenal racing history. 2019 is our centenary, um, a great pride within us to, to reach our 100 years. Um, innovation has always been a hugely important part of, of the company and I've talked about some of the innovation we saw in the XP2 and the car behind me is our new Continental GT convertible and even today we have innovation. We have a tweed hood, which I think is a first for the industry. We have a, a, a triple rotating dial, again, a first for the industry. So these two cars actually complement each other really well. With 100 years, I think it gives us a chance to show off a, a, a rich history, which is not just racing. Uh, clearly, Le Mans in the 20s was, was groundbreaking for us, back through to 2003, but, but many, many examples of innovation uh, through those decades. So I talked earlier about the uh, innovation in the car in terms of its valves per cylinder and use of aluminium. Uh, and this led to a, a top speed of 70 mile, 79 miles an hour, um, which again for the day was extraordinary. Uh, 175 brake horsepower uh, and weighing a little over uh, 680 kilograms was, it was a lightweight car. Um, so very fast, very reliable uh, and very durable. So back in the, in the 20s when the car was racing, it, it was a phenomenon um, uh, with, with a relatively small engine uh, and great technology. Um, 11 wins from a single car in the 20s was, was quite extraordinary. So we look forward now to our, our next 100 years, um, continuing to embrace those elements that make our DNA of, of quality, of, of luxurious interiors, but I think most importantly of Grand Touring and our interpretation of Grand Touring going ahead for the next 100 years. Mm -hmm.